If you want to learn how to make this amazing kids Ramadan gift basket, keep watching. Hey Islam, I'm Alex from AWIA, empowering Muslim businesses and building a community that elevates our voice through online media. I know that last Ramadan gift basket was really popular, so I thought, why don't I show you guys how to make a kid's version? You know, my kids are so special to me, so I think giving them this basket, especially before Ramadan starts, is gonna make them even more excited about Ramadan and the whole meaning of Ramadan itself. Full of amazing products from small business owners that are Muslim owned, and everything is linked in the description box below, so you can find these pieces if you like them, or you can make something even more special, but definitely tag me if you do. I'd love to see what kind of gift basket you are gonna make. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps support my channel. Let me show you the first item that's gonna be in this gift basket. This is this prayer mat that actually comes in this really cute um, bag. It is a travel bag. And so when you open it, uh, you have the mat itself inside. And it's this pretty olive green color. It comes in three different colors. This prayer mat comes from deanhub.com. And another item that I got from Dean Hub as well is this really cute Voodoo waterproof poster. So it's really a simple step-by-step -step poster. It has the steps to wash hands, wash mouth, and you know, it's something so great, especially for your kids learning how to pray. And so um, I thought this would be a great addition in the gift basket. Another few items that I got from Dean Hub as well, and what I think is so cute and that they have so many different options are these pins. Um, this pin specifically, it says, I can recite the Al-Fatiha. So I thought this is another great addition for the Ramadan basket. And they also have these cute mini magnets as well. So these three items are from Dean Hub and you can find them at deanhub.com and you can follow them on IG Dean Hub. The next item I got is from Yenge.co. Um, Yenge has these really cute window clings. This is also a really fun item to have, especially if your kids are really young and they want to be a part of the decorating um, and they can't really touch those, you know, fragile items because they can stick this on the window and just be proud of themselves for decorating the house. It has the moon, it says Eid Ramadan Mubarak, and I know kids would love these clings, and I think I would love them too, especially that it doesn't leave any stain or anything on windows. So, and you can reuse them every year. So this is another item that I'm gonna put in the gift basket. And you can find this on their Etsy store, and I will link it in the description box below. But you can also follow them at yenge.co on Instagram. Another really fun thing for kids, and could be such a special item to you have and to also be part of their decorations, are these wooden crafts by Craft Therapy DC. I love that it comes with brushes, and it also comes with paint pots. So you don't need anything extra and it all comes in this kit that can be used. I have here, this is the tiered Ramadan craft. And I also have this awesome Ramadan banner as well that just came out recently and will look so beautiful in your house. And this is another way of them being a part of the decorating process in Ramadan. So I love these items. I love Craft Therapy DC. It is wooden cut items that are designed to be painted on as a craft. You can find Craft Therapy DC on their Etsy store, and I'll link the Etsy store below, but it is crafttherapydc.etsy, and um, you can find them on IG at crafttherapydc. I know there's so many items, but your kid's gonna love this basket, right? Okay, the next item is from Modefa. I love Modefa. It is a one-stop shop. It is a family-owned business. So many beautiful items from Turkey. And I have a few different things that I'm gonna put in this basket from them. The first thing that I got is a child's scarf so my child could you know, join us in prayer. She's only three, and so I think this would be a great thing to put over her head when she wants to pray with us. And my son is um, a little bit bigger, so I got him this little kufi hat that he can wear as well, especially if we decide to go to the masjid. And the last thing I got from Modefa is this car hanging um, that I will be putting on the top of the basket as a decorating item. You can find these items at mymadefa.com and you can follow them on IG at Modefa USA. So one thing I think would be really great is having a nice Ramadan book um, they can read during Ramadan. So I love this book written by Hannah Elliott. It's a really beautiful color book and I actually have a really awesome Ramadan episode on different children's books you can watch right here. So check that out for different ideas of Ramadan books you want to get for your kids this year. That's another thing to add in your gift basket. Another thing I really wanted to include was a tasbih I made. I made for my kids. I put this in this really beautiful box I actually got from Home Goods that says peace on it. 
like I made it with gold and it's really a small test bit they can have to use, you know, to learn how to say the 99 names or just to have themselves um, and put around the wrist if they like. And it's something really pretty to make, but there's a lot of companies that actually make Tespia um, for kids. And I can also link that as well below. And if you really want a YouTube video, definitely comment below and maybe I'll make a Tespia DIY. Now, what is a Ramadan gift basket without chocolate? You know, your kids definitely deserve these yummy, delicious chocolates from Craving for Chocolates. I'm obsessed with these chocolates. If you hear me always talking about chocolates, it is this company. It is run by two amazing boss women. I put it in this pretty cup and I wrapped it up in a nice way so that, you know, the kids can feel special, get some delicious chocolates as well. And if you do have like a Ramadan calendar, they can always open it up and put it in those days. They don't have to eat everything at one time. So that's just something you really should include in your gift basket, whatever chocolates you want. But I just love Craving for Chocolates. They're a Muslim owned business and you can find them at cravingforchocolate.com and even online on their IG, Craving for Chocolate. All right, last thing to put in this amazing, humongous gift basket for kids that they will love so much are dates. You know, if they're starting Ramadan this year and they're gonna fast, then you should just give them their special bag of dates in this food safe bag. Definitely add dates to this gift basket to make it Ramadani. <laughs> uh, one last thing is get like a nice basket you wanna use. Um, I put this beautiful, we call it kashkash, but like little paper shreds. In here, I needed like four bags to fill this up. I got those from the dollar store, but I got this basket from Target. Then you can find these shrink wrap bags from the dollar store. If you don't wanna use shrink wrap, you can also find these basket bags um, as well from the dollar store. You can just tie it up, which is what I'm gonna be using today. Okay guys, let's put this all together. So it's gonna be a little bit fast and then I'll show you the end product. I put everything together in this basket. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up with the bag. And um, let me just show you how it looks from the inside. So you can see there's the dates, chocolate. Um, I tried to put everything from the biggest in the back to the smallest in the front. I really wanted to showcase the chocolates in the front, especially for kids and you know the dates and these little mini um, magnets and badges. So I think this is exciting for them and it will be perfect gift for your kid. So let's wrap it up. And that's it. So with gift baskets, it's so much easier when you roll down the bag before putting in the gift basket. And also when your kids open up the gift basket, just make sure that you're watching them because um, of the risk of suffocation with bags. And also when you're um, gathering the bag, just to make it smoother in the front, just hold it tightly from the front and then gather it to the back of the bag. I'll probably add this because this is more of a kid's basket and I know kids love these kind of little squiggly bows. All right, the last thing to add is this cart hanger that they can also use to hang in the room. And there you go. This is the ultimate kids gift basket. I hope you really like this kids basket DIY for Ramadan. If you make this basket, your kids will love you. <laughs> wow, what is this guys? You want to open it for you guys? Mm -hmm. It's okay. so pretty. Yeah. That's it. Whoa! 
Yeah, that's for we know how to play with dude. This is some dates. dates. Yeah. I want to eat more of those. Oh, these are little magnets. And this is a box. Where's it inside? It has a little print. How do you like the basket, guys? Good. You love it? That's oh. You're welcome, babies. I love you guys. Yeah, you can open it. Let's I open it. Well, the dates. Okay, sounds good. You can find all these amazing Muslim-owned businesses in the links in the description box below. Thanks for passing by, and I'll see you guys next time. Another Oya episode. Bye.